Hi doctors, as a mom, I've seen all types of colors, consistencies, and textures of vomit. I'd like to ask you if there's any specific colors or textures I should be worried about. All right, let's talk about uh, what your puke may mean. This is important. I get this question a that's, lot over the phone from worried this moms. This is a lot of puke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. Somebody didn't have a good day. That's no. <laughs> when, you, when you talk about vomit, the, the good news is that it's usually short-lived. It's mm -hmm. usually because of something we've eaten or your kids brought something home from daycare. And it usually resolves in about 12 to 14 to 18 hours. And so it's usually not something to get super concerned about. But I think the point of this is that really paying attention to what's coming out can really give you clues if there is something more serious going on. So I think we'll start here uh, with the green. I mean, this is bile. Bile is a normal part of our digestive process. It normally ends up in our small intestine, and that's a good thing. When we see it in the vomit, it's not always a serious thing, but it can mm -hmm. signify that the intestines are blocked. And if the intestines are blocked, the bile can get downstream. It's only got one way to go, and that's mm -hmm. it's coming up. So uh, this, <laughs> this next unsavory color, uh, is basically digested, partially digested food. This is what you're normally going to see the first few hours that you're vomiting. So you've eaten something, maybe it's day-old potato salad, bad sushi. This is what comes up. That's par for the course. There's really nothing concerning specifically about this color. And this is very similar. Mm -hmm. We see some red, red in there, right? Yeah, so the red is never a good sign. I think anytime there's red coming out anywhere from the GI tract, we get concerned. Now, the usual pattern with this is if you're really vomiting a lot, if you're retching, it's severe, you can develop something called a Mallory Weiss tear, which is actually a linear ulceration in the esophagus that actually is a result of, of vomiting forcefully. And so if the first couple times you throw up, it looks like this here, and then it becomes red, again, that can be a sign that this is a tear. Bottom line, anytime you have blood in your emesis, you need to see a doctor right away. Now, this is a color to me that I think is disturbing uh, because, let's face it, it looks like the previous question about diarrhea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, looks like, it looks like we're looking at diarrhea, and it shouldn't mm -hmm. come out of your mouth. That's right. So I think what you're talking about, there's two possible causes of this. One is if this is actually stool coming out of your mouth, then that really signifies a serious blockage in the Obstruction. intestine. Mm -hmm. And really, you should also have abdominal pain yeah, with that. I you mean, should have mm -hmm. bloating. And nothing coming out And it would smell side. like smell. feces. Exactly. And, uh, you know, speculant Not vomit. good. Mm -hmm. The other thing that can cause this, which is important for, the, for everyone to understand, is that blood can also look like this. So if you have bleeding from an ulcer that's been sitting, blood that's been sitting in your stomach, it's being digested by acid, by enzymes, it may not come out looking red. It may come out looking dark brown. We call this sometimes coffee ground emesis. It looks like the stuff you take out of your coffee filter. And this can also be a sign of, of bleeding and also, again, uh, should be followed by a trip to your, to your doctor or to your emergency room. And one of the things we can do is really quickly figure out if that dark color actually is blood. And if it is, we have to do further testing. Now, this last one, I don't know if there's like an octopus in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure clear. what we're looking at, but uh, this is, I think, something to show that sometimes the blockage in the stomach. There's something called goo, which is probably an appropriate acronym for this this demonstration. It's called gastric outlet obstruction, and this is when the stomach is completely blocked, either from a tumor, from an ulcer, and even saliva, juices, water sips that you may be nothing is getting through, and so you may eventually just vomit this clear stuff. The important distinction is between the, this last jar. And the first jar, you notice there's no bile. Mm -hmm. And that's because the blockage at the level of the stomach. The bile's actually getting downstream. This is a blockage right at the end of the stomach. So pay attention. The other big thing is if you're having a lot of, a lot of pain, continued vomiting, <clears throat> you can't keep anything down. That may be worth a trip to get checked out. Dr. Sheth, you willing to stick around? I'll be here.